Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to do a video that I have had requested numerous times. I'm going to be showing you today a easy and simple way of how to smooth skin in an image or a portrait. So here we have an image and I have applied a few effects and I have gone from this original image to now this image here. So this is more of the airbrushed look as you see in magazines. Um, Let's be honest, those pictures are definitely not all natural. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get that effect in your photos. So in this image here, there is a lot of makeup, so it does make it look a little plastic in some areas. So I am going to show you a technique on, on how to avoid that at times. So let's go ahead and delete. I'm going to delete all of these effects here. And here's the original image that we have here. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and put your image in the project or make it your background, whatever you want to do, and duplicate that image. It's as easy as right-clicking on that layer and then going to Duplicate Layer. Go ahead and call that Copy Layer or Top Layer. It really does not matter. And then leave it there. Now, the top layer, which is your copy layer, you are going to want to make sure that you have converted it to a smart filter. So if you have that layer selected and then go to Filter, Convert to Smart Filters. I have already done that, so there's no need for that in this layer, but make sure you do that to yours. Once we have done that, we want to apply a blur to the image. Go up to Filter and then go down to Blur and then go over till you see surface blur which is right here at the bottom and click on that now you want your radius to be 20 and your threshold to be 20 anywhere from 18 to 20 on those is fine play around with your image and see what you'd like best and then click OK once we have done that you have seen it now makes all of the image smooth and it looks like it is pretty much in its entirety airbrushed. That is not really what we want. Here's a few things you can do to avoid the whole image looking like that. The first thing you're going to want to do is drag the opacity of that top or copy layer down to around 75 to 80 percent. You do want a little bit of that natural image in the image. So I'm going to leave mine at 78 so it doesn't look so daunting and so just uh, plastic in certain areas of the image. And then the last thing that I will tell you to do to make your images look better when you apply this effect is go ahead and apply a layer mask. If you don't know how to do that, select the layer again and go down here until you see this option here right by the effects button there. It says add layer mask. Click on that button. It now it applies a layer mask. Go grab your paintbrush tool, which is right over here. Make sure the foreground color is set to black. And then if your brush is too small, hit the bracket keys to increase it or just whatever you want to do to increase the size of your brush. And then go to the areas that you do not want necessarily smooth. So in this case, we don't want these lips to be so just smoothed over like that. So I want to do that there. And then of course the eyes, I'm going to make the brush a little smaller. We don't want the eyes to look so glassed over and so plastic. We want the eyes to look real as if it's a real human being. So that's what we'll do there. And again, guys, there's certain effects in certain images this will not work on. It'll just look a little weird on. You don't want the picture to look plastic so you want it to look real and by applying the effects that I have shown you here that will help to avoid that also guys again thank you so much for watching my videos if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button below subscribe to my channel for more great content like this share this with your friends and family and your dog and your cat and anybody else you can share it with and I will see you guys next time